Hey, Topher here. So, we've had a lot of news stories about submarines lately. Russian submarines, American submarines. I thought the interesting one was how some Taiwanese fishermen saw a Chinese submarine suddenly surface. So today, let's talk about submarines. Let's talk about China's submarine fleet, Taiwan's submarines, the future of submarines, and if we should be concerned about China's submarine capabilities. And a quick spoiler alert, yes. Yes, we should. <laughs> it is a concern. Sub means under, and marine means something to do with the sea. So submarine, under the sea. They're ships that travel underwater, and they are extremely dangerous. They hide under the water and do surprise attacks on unsuspecting ships. However, submarines are also extremely vulnerable. Because they're underwater, even minor damage can cause the loss of the entire crew. So a submarine's best defense is actually to stay hidden. They don't want to be discovered. If they're discovered and attacked, it's bad news for the submarine. Submarines are usually detected using noise. They listen for the submarine's noise. This is called passive sonar. Our uh, ships will use specific sound waves to try and ping out and bounce sound off of the submarines using sound kind of like radar. This is called active sonar, so active and passive sonar. And like I said, submarines' best defense is to stay hidden. They need to stay quiet. They need to stay away from the surface because if they're discovered, they become a very easy target. Now, just like a submarine's best defense is to stay hidden, your best defense against hackers and malware is to stay hidden when you're using the internet. This is why I recommend Surfshark VPN, today's sponsor. So Surfshark VPN, it sets up a secure internet tunnel. So when you're using the internet, nobody can see what you're doing. Great. And like submarines stay hidden when they patrol the oceans, you want to use a VPN when you're traveling. A VPN is a must have when you're traveling, especially when you're using public Wi-Fi. Now, I've used a lot of different VPN services, but Surfshark is easily my favorite because their internet speeds are lightning fast. And with just one Surfshark account, you can use unlimited devices. So not using a VPN, that's like a surfaced submarine hosting a karaoke night. Someone's going to find you. Someone who does not have your best interest. So just click the link below, use the discount code Uncle Topher, and you get a huge discount plus four months for free. You'll get the VPN, you'll get all sorts of other internet security tools like virus scanners, all for a super cheap price, less than the cost of a boba tea. Plus there's a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's nothing to lose. Just click the link, use the coupon code Uncle Topher, four months for free, internet security, it's awesome. So there's basically two ways that we categorize submarines. What their job is, are they attack submarine, or a ballistic missile submarine, or how are they powered? Are they a nuclear powered submarine, or a conventional diesel electric powered submarine? Attack submarines are hunter-killer submarines. Their job is to sink other ships. And they do this with anti-ship cruise missiles or underwater missiles called torpedoes. A ballistic missile submarine, its job is to be a nuclear war deterrent because they're somewhere out in the ocean armed with long-range nuclear missiles. Now, nuclear-powered submarines are submarines that are powered by a small nuclear reactor on board. This has a serious advantage because it has an extremely long range. They don't need to refuel. They only really need to resurface to resupply the crew with food. However, nuclear powered submarines are very expensive and they're very loud. So they require a lot of special technology to keep them quiet. Every submarine in the U.S. fleet is a nuclear-powered submarine. Now, conventional submarines or diesel-electric submarines, they're actually much cheaper to build, and they're quieter because they use electricity. They use electric engines and a battery bank. 
but they do have a diesel engine that recharges the batteries. This, of course, limits the range. They have a shorter range because they need diesel fuel. Also, when the diesel engine is running, it needs to be closer to the surface because diesel engines need fresh air and exhaust. And of course, they're louder when the diesel engine is running. So this makes the conventional submarines a little easier to detect. Additionally, many modern warships, they have, um, they have sensors to pick up the, the diesel fumes. They're called diesel sniffers. Most of the submarines in the world are conventional powered attack submarines. However, China does have 12 nuclear powered submarines, six nuclear powered attack submarines and six nuclear powered ballistic missile submarines. And overall, China's submarine fleet is about 60 submarines, although I'm not sure how functional all of those are. Now, I just said that China has 12 nuclear powered submarines, but at the time of this video, we can assume that maybe 10 or 11 of them are actually functional. So most of China's current submarine fleet is actually pretty loud. It's easier to detect, especially their nuclear powered submarines. It's been reported that these submarines are like as loud as construction equipment, like 120 decibels, pretty loud. And most of their submarines are older, so they're easier to detect with modern equipment. However, China's been improving on their submarines and they've made some huge improvements. Their newest conventional submarines, the Type 39s, the latest versions of these are much more impressive. Not only are they quieter and more stealthy, they have some advanced features in their engines so that they don't need to surface to run their diesel engines. These are called AIP propulsion systems, air independent propulsion, AIP. So they can recharge their batteries without being close to the surface. Additionally, China is developing new nuclear powered submarines and they're building them very quickly, surprisingly quickly. Maybe a little too quickly because when you build something very fast, it can lead to mistakes. Now the quality of Chinese equipment is always a little questionable. In October of 2023, there was a rumor that one of their Type 93 nuclear powered attack submarines had a serious accident. It killed everyone on board. Now, it's unclear exactly what happened to this submarine, but based on Chinese social media reports and the reaction of the CCP, I suspect that it's probably true that the submarine suffered a serious accident or had some sort of damage that resulted in the death of the crew. And then there's the Taiwanese fishermen from Penghu Island who saw a Chinese submarine surface. This was a Type 94 nuclear submarine, a ballistic missile submarine. This happened in June of 2024. The submarine suddenly surfaced and then it was escorted back to China by Chinese warships. And although these were Taiwanese fishermen who saw the incident, it actually happened much closer to China than it did to Taiwan. Now, the most likely reason for a submarine to suddenly surface like this and be escorted back is if it suffered some sort of serious mechanical issue where it was too dangerous for it to stay submerged. It makes me wonder how many times has this happened where there weren't any other witnesses. Ooh, that wind really kicked up. Well, what about Taiwan's submarine fleet? Okay, so Taiwan has five submarines. Two of them are very, very old U.S. submarines, back from World War II. The other two are older Dutch submarines from like the 80s, 1980s. However, the fifth submarine was made in Taiwan, and it's brand new. It was actually launched not too far from here, like right over there, out of that away. These are all conventional powered attack submarines. And Taiwan does have plans to build more submarines. Now, I think it's important to note here that the counter to submarines is not actually other submarines. From what I understand, in all of warfare, there's only one example where a submarine successfully sunk another submarine. Usually, the most dangerous thing to a submarine is aircraft. However, I think that's going to change very quickly in the near future with the development of underwater 
unmanned vehicles, UUVs, submarine drones. So the Ukraine-Russian war, it's been pretty interesting. It has changed warfare. Ukraine is a country that doesn't really have a navy, yet they were able to completely cripple the Russian Navy in the Black Sea just by using hastily made drones. They basically have remote controlled jet skis that have a bunch of explosives on them. I mean, now they're more developed, but that's how they started. Using drones ends up being an extremely effective and cost-effective method. One cheap drone can destroy a warship costing tens of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars. So many countries are developing underwater drones, UUVs, underwater unmanned vehicles. The U.S. has some really interesting programs happening. One of them is called the Manta Ray. It's a drone that's being developed that can stay at the bottom of the sea for a very long time, just lying in wait for an unsuspecting submarine to pass by. It also had this program called the Ghost Swimmer, which is literally a robot shark. Now, there's not a lot of information about the Ghost Swimmer robot shark program continuing. So I don't know if it's been discontinued or it's just been shifted to being secret. And Taiwan is in the process of developing its own UUVs, which is something that I highly encourage I highly encourage. I think that Taiwan should develop its own defensive drone program. Now drones have proved to be very cost effective, but it's also a great answer for the defense of a nation that has a dwindling population like Taiwan. The dwindling population is a problem that many, many countries have. It's not just Taiwan. So if Taiwan develops excellent defensive drones, UAVs and UUVs, not only can it defend itself, but it can also sell these drones to other countries. It just creates another industry to bring prosperity to Taiwan. And I highly believe that peace is achieved through strength. So in quick summary, is China's submarine fleet a threat Currently, not, not, not as impressive as, as they want you to think, but they are getting more impressive. They are getting better. Although Taiwan is developing its own brand new submarines, I think that it would be more cost effective to also develop UUVs. Oh, this wind is killer. Well, that's all I have today. Peace, peace through strength, all right? Let's get some peace in the world. Peace and love. Thanks a lot for watching. Check out my other videos. And a massive, massive thank you to all of my channel members and Patreon members. You guys are the best. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.